What is up everybody? Hello, hi, welcome to the channel. If you are new around these parts, what we do on this channel is we cover everything from horror and theme parks to haunted houses to Halloween Horror Nights. If any of that sounds very interesting, stick around, watch a couple more videos. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe as well while you're down there. Uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up. It helps out the channel. It lets me know that you really enjoy the videos started this new series is going to be called a ranking series it's just me ranking certain things it might be universal and disney but uh, right now it's halloween horror nights and what i'm going to be ranking on this video is their best commercials now i'm setting aside my emotions from you know actually going to certain years and loving certain years more so than others or certain icons i'm just keeping it strictly on the commercial itself was the commercial good did it drive attention, I think, to the event if you didn't probably already know about the event and you just caught this commercial? Was it done very creatively? That's kind of my criteria for why I picked these five to be on my list. So without further ado, let's get to number five. The Halloween Horror Nights 27 commercial. And there's multiple reasons of why this makes a list. I know a lot of people are going to be puzzled when they see the rest of this list. Um, Halloween Horror Nights 27 was a tremocious, tremocious, I'll just go with another word. It was a phenomenal, huge year for Halloween Horror Nights 27. Um, they were featuring American Horror Story, The Shining, which people never thought they would get. Saw was back. Um, a lot of good houses in that year as well. But this commercial was phenomenal, multiple reasons. And one I'll go with the first one is it was directed by Eli Roth. And yes, we've had celebrity directors before on, on commercials, but this is the first time we had somebody that was sort of a big name in Hollywood. Well, I guess, I mean, I would say it was a big name in Hollywood. And the fact that it was really cool because just the commercial itself featured so many Easter eggs of things you can see. I mean, there's so many things in here that you can pinpoint and say, oh, that's cool, or what's that, or what's that in the background, or what's that creature? And probably my favorite part, and I'll go back and show you. As soon as the victims walk into the party, my the funniest thing I think I've ever noticed about this commercial is the voodoo guy from American Horror Story chilling on the wall to the left of them. He's just like hanging out like, Yeah, you know, man, I'm, I'm hoping to take some of these victims home tonight. It's just hilarious that he's just sitting there just randomly, just like out of nowhere, not doing nothing, but just chilling. It's so creepy. But um, it's, it's also just so cool to look around the room and you can see so many different like things that you just want to see more of that are you know vampires are in this commercial it's they look so creepy there's so many easter eggs in here and also the lady death i believe that's lady death i think she was supposed to be our icon for that year because there was a lot of stuff with the roses and and your soul has been requested um and i believe me personally i believe that was our icon but they didn't choose to go with it that's why it was such a predominant part of this commercial. Um, but it was also cool to see Eli Roth direct other properties because normally you never see directors do that. They, they stay in their own thing. They don't want to touch another director stuff. So I thought that was cool to see how it would look if Eli Roth did a Saw movie or how he did uh, American Horror Story episode or The Shining so it gave you kind of like a look into his mind of how he would color things or show things in certain ways um, but yeah that's why it makes number five for me coming in at number four was Halloween Horror Nights 25 commercial uh, a phenomenal anniversary year it was big they brought back Jack and chance and they did it in a very very perfect way um it wasn't very cartoonish like jack was in the past he was very him he was himself but he was redone in a new way he looked more evil something about the coloring on this commercial and just the overall creepy factor chance looked creepy 
it was just beautifully shot i mean there's some gorgeous shots in here i don't know who directed this but they did a phenomenal job for halloween hornets commercial this looks like some a plus like horror movie stuff um and also little known fact in this commercial what i'm talking about is the uncut version that aired and then it got taken off um this featured a little guy this featured a guy that we all know and love who was not featured at the main event and that is ghostface killer that's right ghostface is a part of this year or at least in another timeline somewhere he was to be featured in his own house scream house but that got scrapped and problems and then it got turned into the purge house um, so it was really cool to see just at least a glimpse of Ghostface being a part of Halloween Horror Nights. So that's why it makes this uh, list. Number three should be no surprise. You hear the music. Well, I'm probably not playing the music because copyright issues. Um, but this commercial, it's so brilliant. It's black and white. It's talked about the director. It's short. It's sweet. You don't even have to know too much about the backstory. Even the director doesn't even talk in this commercial, but you say there, there's a tagline of, uh, have you met the director? Or, Do you want to meet the director? And it's just the way they shot this commercial was so creepy that if you didn't already know what Horror Nights was, this would pull you in to say, what in the world is this? Who's this director character? Maybe I'm curious to see a little bit more. Also, this icon is synonymous with that song. Um, and if you think about it, no other icon, I think, has a actual theme song or a song to associate themselves with. So when you hear you ought to be in pictures, you just get a very tense, creepy feeling like the director is just around the corner and he's waiting to put you in this latest film. That's why it's number three for me. Also, that was my very first year, and, you know, I have fond memories of that year of going and seeing the director. Also, I have fond memories of hearing that song play on the commercials and just hearing it in another room and being terrified of the director. So, bonus points for that. And number two, a commercial everybody should probably know by now if you associate yourself as a Horror Nights fan or a history of Horror Nights fan and that is Halloween Horror Nights 17's commercial which the fortune teller who we find out is of course Jack and this commercial is built in a certain way that's just intriguing you got this fortune teller who's showing you these cards it doesn't make sense how does that tell your future and then when he comes in and says you don't have one so what's my future you don't have one and then you see Jason, you see Freddy, you see Leatherface. This commercial, you know, it's like dollar signs. All day. All day dollar signs. I mean, you see that and you're like, I want to go to that event. I don't know what this Horror Nights is, but wow. They got those three at this event. I want to go. So kudos to them on the marketing. Also, it introduces Jack. And you know he's sort of the icon that year, the ringleader. He's bringing them in. So it does a fantastic job. That's why it's number two. Number one for me is, and everybody should probably know this by now about me, it's one of my all-time favorite years. Not the favorite houses, not the favorite zones, but it's my overall favorite year. And I think Universal will never top this year. And I'm willing to eat those words in case down the line they do. But I don't think they'll ever top this year for all the elements that went in place. Number one. Halloween Horror Nights 18. Bloody Mary. The commercial. Woo, boy. Oh, man, this commercial. Outstanding. Fantastic. The makeup. The creepiness. Just pulling you in and them not even showing bloody mary as her face they're just showing you little glimpses and her side of the world and that she's on the other side of this mirror and this guy is calling her out and then bloody mary and bam she comes through the window or the mirror 
excuse me. She comes through the mirror, you see her face, it's creepy, it's pulling you in, you're like, yes, 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 I want to see more of this, Bloody Mary, fantastic job, and I'm going to geek out a little bit and talk about just from the standpoint of the website and the music and the story and legendary truth and the billboard and the fact that they had the video montage uh, screen at the front of the park just coming up to the arches and seeing her and how creepy that was oh man fantastic they will never ever probably be able to do that again thank you guys for watching if you agree or if you disagree with my top five, let me know down in the comment section what was your top five picks for the HHN commercials. As well, go ahead and subscribe if you like what you saw. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up. It helps the channel out. Helps me know that you really enjoyed this type of content and that way I can make more in the future. Thank you guys for the likes, the support, the subscriptions, the subs. Uh, thank you guys, and hopefully you have a great day. Zombie Chris, out of here.